What's going on, you guys? QB on a camera here. Bridge West here. Bridge West there. And we're on our way to the movies to meet Grandpa. Angry Grandpa's going to his first movie in years. I don't know that I've ever seen him go to a movie. So this is, to me, this is Grandpa's first movie. Wow. <laughs> so, I've never seen Dad go to the movies. Uh, he called me today. I think I want to go to a goddamn movie. So we're going to the movies with Angry I don't know if I want to say fucking right there. Angry fucking grandpa. Yeah. I felt awkward cussing. I felt <laughs> filthy. Like, ugh. <laughs> so. You felt mouth. Poop mouth. Ooh. Poop. So, we're here at this theater. We have not been to this one before. So, we're going to go see the movie American Sniper. Uh, Bradley Cooper, I think, is directed by Clint Eastwood. Okay, I don't think you could have possibly parked any further away from the movies. I don't know this area. So what? You don't know the parking spaces? No. For God's sakes, you learned how to drive. You learned how to drive. <sighs> At least I can actually park a car. I ain't putting out what is, not today. So anyway, we are chilling at the movies. It is cold, had to put on a hoodie. It is freezing cold right now, and I don't see dad yet. Chances are we beat him here again as usual. We always beat him to this plaza before he can get to it. So, waiting on day. It's starting to get windy and cold. He's gonna be late. We're gonna have to see a different show though, I'll well, tell you that. What are we gonna wait all freaking day? Okay, this movie is like the number one movie of the weekend or some shit, dude, so. We're gonna have to go see a different show. There's no way we make it to this show. Hey, you're at the theater. Answer your phone, please. We missed that showing, so we have to go to like the one before 30. Make matters worse, my door's not even opening. Please, let me see this, I can show them. Okay, unlock. Unlock, 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 unlock. Oh. <laughs> It worked that time. We were trying for 10 minutes. I know, that's funny. That's, <laughs> that's weird. You got my keys, right? Yeah. Right. Well, you're not a driver, so. <laughs> dude, it's cold. Why'd I put my hoodie up? I don't know, dude. Let's freaking go somewhere. So, we were supposed to go to the 2 o'clock show. Is that him? Finally. Dad. That's not him. No, that's not Dad. So we were supposed to go to the three o'clock show. He probably stood us up, Michael. Don't say that. It's he what did, he does. He didn't do that. I think he did that. So we were supposed to go to the three o'clock show. It is now going on 4.30. That's when the next showing starts. We can either miss the movie or go without him. Go without him. Don't say that. <sighs> so we went and bought the tickets. We bought a ticket for him and he still isn't here. And it was more money. The tickets were, it's like in a bigger theater or something. So it was like $15 a ticket. Let's go to the gas station, dude. For what? I want to get some gas and I'm really thirsty. So we're going to the gas station right now. Look how low I am. <laughs> how come you didn't go in freaking before we left the house? You knew we were driving away. <laughs> I know. So. I'm bad about that, okay? To Dad won't answer my calls. I don't know. I think he stood us up for real. He did. Unless he's hurt or something. Is it dangerous to be recording at a gas pump like this? Probably. You think we're gonna like cat like explode or something? Probably. Should I back up? Yeah. No. I'm gonna wave it around and cause friction. Stop. Please record your message. Uh still no sign of you, Dad. We're at the gas station. I don't know what's going on. Let us Let's go to his house. Oh, we're gonna have to go to his house. Wow, is gas at buck seventy nine? How much did it cost to fill up? Nineteen. So I just got a text from Dad. I was on my way to his house, and Dad is telling me that he's not coming to the movie. And he said, "Fuck you." He stood us up. Seriously? Yep. It was on purpose. Grandpa stood us up. Now we got movie starts at four thirty, three forty six. We gotta go. Bridget's brother, whom she hasn't seen in how long? Like two years? We haven't seen him in about two years. He was at the same theater. Turned out he was in town. He was looking to get in touch with Bridget to meet up. 
and we showed up at the same theater at the same time and we went and saw American Sniper together. Yeah, I mean, he was gonna see this other movie, but then he Hunger was like, Games. yeah, and then he was like, I'm gonna watch this with you guys. That was like really cool. So and my mom was in yeah, the theater. Yeah, and her mom. She. It was a weird it's thing. It's so, so bizarre. Dad, you screwed us. You stood us up, but we went to the movies anyway. And so it was, it was a very sad movie. We just left dinner with Bridget's brother, and now I have to come to Target, which there happened to be one right over here, to get thermalware. Like. <laughs> Thermal wear. Dad was telling me. He's like, it's freezing goddamn cold in Philadelphia. It's snow today. So he wanted me to look at the thermal wear. I guess I can get a closer look at it now, huh? These are like long johns. Kind of like shit you see like the Waltons <laughs> wearing. So this is what we're getting right now. Well, we just got home. Uh, first things first, we had a great time with Bridget's brother. Uh, I didn't record him because this was the first time Bridget and he had seen each other in so long. So I wanted to let them have that private, intimate moment together. Uh, it was it was a lot of fun. We went to a steakhouse and we all talked and we had a good time. Uh, I noticed that when I left the movie, I didn't really talk about it that much. So uh, to talk about American Sniper, um, really good movie. It was really good. There were times as I was watching it that I forgot I was watching a movie. I was just so submerged into the story and I was just staring and watching and you know, you, you really get sucked into the story and when the movie's over, you know, our theater was completely silent when it let out. I read a couple other Facebook reviews where they said their theater was silent and I was like, huh, I wonder if ours will be the same. Definitely it was silent. Nobody was talking. Everybody was trying hard not to cry. <laughs> good movie. Really, really good movie. Uh, Dad, you missed out. Wish you would have come. Wish you wouldn't have stood us up. Wish you could have come to the movies and had fun with us. I've had a lot of people telling me that I need to shave. So, uh, smack that like button. Now you can say I copy prank versus prank. Uh, smack that like button if you think that I should get rid of it. And tomorrow on vlog, I'll do it. What else could we do? Nothing. We're just going to sit and watch TV, watch Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I've been watching Parks and Recreation lately. Ew. Uh, it, I enjoy it. I, you know, I never wanted to see it before. Uh, I was like, oh, no. Because the first season, I saw some of that, and some of it was just really stupid. Silly jokes, and I don't find that kind of stuff funny. But later on in the show, it actually gets really funny. So, very cool. So, we're back. Hey, Belle, did you miss us, girl? We went to the movies. Did you miss us? Okay. Hello to all of you. <laughs> Did you miss us, Clyde? Oh, what are you doing? So me and Bridget have recently started Always Sunny in Philadelphia over from season one. We are on season two right now. Love this show. The new season actually started uh, last week. We already watched that. That was amazing. But we are starting the series over. Because that's what we do. We're, ooh, I love this show. We're going to be starting Breaking Bad over soon. Yeah. Definitely. Ooh, we got to send your brother that clip. He wanted to know about the alternate ending for Breaking Bad where they did the Malcolm in the Middle thing. So we got to send that to him. So that's going to be it for today, you guys. Uh, hope you had a good Sunday. Hope you had a better Sunday than I did because my dad decided to tell me he was going to come to the movies and he didn't. I got stood up. Got stood up by my own father. So, that was ridiculous. Of course it was. We so, of course. That's going to be it for today, you guys. Went to the movies, went out to dinner, had a good time, went to Target, got my long johns, smack that like button. Thanks, for, thanks prank versus prank. Smack that like button if you want me to cut my hair. <laughs> peeps. No, <laughs> don't say it. Smack that like button, peeps. Pickle Boy Nation. So, oh just, just kidding. So, it, <laughs> that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, favorite. Bulldog Nation, no thank you. And that's it. <laughs> I can't have it like fade out on a laugh. It's just because Oh God, your laugh. That's it. Stop laughing. You're like, you're like Pillsbury. <laughs> Stop laughing.
You don't eat tomatoes? No, that, I, like, I like the hard part of it. Mm, God damn. No, fuck! That's good, man. Good God. You all right? <laughs>